Hi there. So, Saw DK doing another tutorial on how to edit trick zooms, trick shots. I'm currently working on a Saw episode. Um, this is adverts and Saw's Cats episode, so I'm basically just going to show you guys how to edit shots. Um, this is the way I do it. So, obviously, my way is better than anyone else out there. So, on with the tutorial. So first what you want to do is import your clip, your trick shot, your beautiful Black Ops 2 bill. You go to where, kind of where he starts to, you know, spin around and stuff. So that's about right here. Right click, time, enable time remap. And then set a marker right here where he shoots. And a marker where he gets the kill. So that's right here. And you set another marker. So then you make this invisible and listen to your song. And right now I'm using- Oh my god, it froze! Okay, so then, in this case, I'm using Childish Gambino. So I want it to start right around here, you know, where you hear the- So then you drag your marker right there. We have- and then you want to split it right where he shoots. So then you have this. So then you want to find the points where he reloads. So you're going to go in and you're going to add your Twixter. Now this is where the tricky stuff happens. Okay? I have a preset, which I will not link in the description because I'll make you pay for that shit because I'm fucking broke. I ain't got no job. Okay, so then you go right here, set it to the frame rate of the clip. In this case, it's 59.94. That's what it should be. Otherwise, you should bail on your player because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Set the motion sensitivity to zero and set the frame interp to nearest. Interp is short for interpret. And you keyframe the position, or not position. Oh my god, I'm stupid. So you keyframe the speed, and then you go to where the next beat is, so. So my beat is right here. And then the lowest you can go without like dropping frames is 50. So I'm gonna set it to the lowest one right now, which is 50. And then copy that keyframe. And then set it a little bit before where the next beat is, so it's going to be... So that's going to be like right here. And then you want to maybe speed this up, and it depends on the reload time. And then uh, maybe, you know, if you don't want that strong of a uh, reload sequence here, you want to set like another keyframe a little bit before the one where it speeds up. So then you get like this. Hold on. Wait on the RAM preview. So that looks good. And then move it a little bit before. Copy the three keyframes where it speeds up, just like so. And then uh, maybe move it here. And this all depends on the song, what you're doing here. You know? So then uh, you got that. And uh, one thing you want to do is easy ease which is F9 on a Mac it's control or F in F9 yeah I think on a PC it's control I don't, I don't use this damn thing anymore so then you get this cool little and then you know that looks good maybe lower this a little bit make it 175 so then and then go to where the next um I guess point is where the kill cam is gonna start so for me, that's like right here. So then you're going to take the last keyframe, copy it, move it a little bit before the last beat, and then speed it up a lot. Not that much because it's going to look shitty. So then you get like the little flow going here. You get like, you know. So, you know, that, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty damn nice. So then you go back to your project, and then you try to find the kill cam. So we're going to zoom out with the little minus button. And then, let's see here, go to where he starts to spin. You know, you might want to do a cinematic in here. I'll do a tutorial on cinematic syncing sometime in the future when I'm not feeling lazy. Go to find the point where he shoots, and then make them both invisible with this little eye thing. The eye icon. I think. So, so then... So then make a decision where you want the shot on the kill cam to be. So for me, it's going to be right here. And sometimes you have to improvise. Like, it's not always going to work how you want, so you got to sync it differently. And then you want to do the Twixter thing again. Same settings as you did on the reload. 
59.94, 0, nearest. And then set a keyframe at the very beginning, and then, you know, you find all your points. And some people like to make markers. I don't roll with that. So we're just going to do it the DK way. And then, you know, you make another keyframe. And I kind of like to leave spaces in between, like, where you're going to speed it up. So I got my 50 keyframe, or my 54, like, the lowest values here. And then I'm going to go a little bit before the next beat. And you kind of just do this. And then on the last one before the shot, you uh, copy the last keyframe again. And then this is where you're going to speed it up. So now... And then you just go before the first keyframes, you know, with the lowest value, and you bump it up to maybe 180, depends on the clip. Each game is different, I'd like to say. Like, um, each COD has its own way of syncing. You make this to 234, and sometimes, you know, this is all in provision. Like, it's not always going to work exactly how you want it to, so you might have to bump up some keyframes, make things some faster than other. That was worded terribly. And you know, that see that that didn't work out, so we're gonna have to improvise. But um as I was saying before how I explained it terribly, you're gonna want to um like kind of make some keyframes like faster than others. So maybe for this one This one I'll make it like two twenty five. And when it comes to syncing trick shots, I never go up to three hundred unless it's the shot, but I'm about to get to that. Oh, no, where are you going? So then it's... So then, you know, you go right here. Maybe set it to 200. And uh, see, now we're going to want to improvise because this is actually going to look a lot better. You know, if you want to decide, like, oh, this will look better, you know, if I uh, maybe set the last shot in a different spot. But in case you don't want to do that, take your uh, highest value... Like, go to where your highest value is, and you're going to use this, you know, this other little part where you cut it off with the shot. And then you're going to want to, like, go try to find it on the kill cam, like on the little preview, and then find where he shoots. And then it's going to work perfectly, like, if you time it right. But, you know, sometimes that doesn't look as good, and it's, it's whatever. So um, I'm going to undo that with Command-Z. So then, you know, I decided I'm not really going to have the shot there, so I'm going to make this invisible and disregard it for a little bit. Copy the keyframe. So I'm going to say where it says end stop signs. So that's going to be right about here. So then you're going to want to bump it up a little bit more. Copy last keyframe, put a little bit before, bump it up, bump it up. And then, you know, I'm going to have to improvise a little bit. Bleh. And then I'm going to have to improvise a little bit by um, dragging this to where the shot is. So then we get this nice clean, make this visible. See what I'm doing? And you're going to want to easy ease all of it. Oh, and then go into the graph editor and this is something that I like to do I just highlight all that and move this like you know the top little ping right here and I move it a little bit to the right and then I move the bottom values a little bit oh I lost it I move this a little bit there and it just makes it a little bit cleaner makes it look nice you know you guys get it so then once that's all done you want to go to the shot and this all depends on what style you're going to do. In most cases, I think, you know, a lot of people like to do this. Drag on the Twixter. Same settings as before. At this point, you might want to make a uh, preset by um, selecting your Twixter and then go to Animation, Save Preset, and then name it whatever. And go to Speed. And then um, go a little bit after the beat where he shoots. So then, it'll be like right here, 
where I want to do it. And it's always going to be a lot, like, after the lowest value is going to be a lot after the where he shoots, the beat where he shoots. So you go right here, and you want to set this to, like, 250. So then you get, and then, like, go to the part where you want to cut it off. So we're going to make this invisible and just listen to the song for a little bit, to the next beat. So I'm going to stop it right here where it says ready to go, split that, and then delete it. And then copy this last keyframe, put it right here, like a little bit afterwards, I'd say... Well, actually, I was going to count the number of frames, but that all honestly depends on the song. And bump it up to probably like 320. Not 420. Smoke weed every day. So then we get this nice little clean sync. It all depends on your song, and you might want to play with it a little bit. So then we get um, this. So that looks all right. Um, damn, it's getting dark in my room. Turn this light on. So then, and then since this beat's a little stronger, I'm gonna make this longer. That rhymed. <coughs> I'm allergic to values, goddammit. So then, uh, drag this a little bit. So now it's looking good. And then I'm, just for this song, because it's working like this, this happens sometimes. You want to like do some value changes and stuff just to sync it a little bit cleaner. And then um, maybe bring this in a little bit more. Make this value higher. Maybe 430. And that's all for the, um, and that's all for the sync. So you can get this nice clean sync with the trick shots. And it looks really nice. So yeah, that looks pretty good. We might want to make this a little bit stronger here. So, of course, easy ease this. And then, let's try this out. Bring this keyframe in. Bring the keyframe down. Maybe make this a little bit higher. And then make this a lot higher. So then, we get this. You gotta wait for the RAM preview, of course. I'll do a tutorial on screen pumps later because screen pumps is very important when it comes to this. Might make this a little bit shorter, but yeah, that's basically what I do. Um, leave a like and comment if you enjoyed. This is um, Saul's Cat and Adverts episode. Um, it's turned out pretty good. I did a uh, really clean motion track here. I'll set this to full, and um, it's pretty cool. I used Cinema 4D for this because Element 3D was acting up. So um, leave a like if you enjoyed on this tutorial, so I can do more. Um, my next tutorial is probably going to be screen pumps. And, um, yeah. So that's a trick shot syncing. I'll also do, um, gun sounds or something later. Actually, you know what? What I normally do with my gun sounds, I can do this really quick. What I normally do with my gun sounds is, uh, I have this gun sound right here, this DSR normal. And then you want to press LL to see the, uh, time... Not time. To see the light. Light waves! Oh my god, this is not astronomy. To see the sound waves, and then you set it to maybe negative 7 so it's not too loud. And then I'll, um, time remap it. And then, maybe just not really bring it out too much. But like that. So then you get this. But my sync was off a little bit, so I gotta move this here. Move that there. And then, whoop. Move this time remap thing here, and then extend this. And then you want to listen to it. This is just what I do. It's really quick, really brief. 
And then on this next one, I'll just duplicate it. Command D. <laughs> D. She wants the command D. Then bring this out more. And then maybe make it a little bit louder. So maybe two DBs higher. Maybe two Dragon Ball Zs higher. So then it's it kind of sounds like this. And then, um, yeah, so I'll probably do a cinematic tutorial. I might, I'm thinking about either doing a, um, just like a syncing tutorial on the cinematics or a full on, this is the console, this is how you use it for Black Ops 2. Because, again, it's different in every game and it all depends on what you want to do and what you're trying to get. So, um, this is Saw DK signing out. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And, um, I hope it fucking snows tomorrow. Because it's cold as shit and it's raining, so I'm really hoping to get some snow. Then I can have more time to just sit here and edit. Deuces.